Hey guys, how you doing? <clears throat> Alright, I was going to do this video on the camera, but I've decided against it just for the moment because I wasn't impressed with the language I used in the video and to be honest, I was actually quite ashamed of myself using it with the kids in, being in the other room so you're getting it on webcam instead, you lucky bastards he lied right, um, people who live in Kent Kent County Council Transport Management are in deep shit right now and no doubt they're going to find this video when I post it on um, the, their local newspaper's website to say, oh, I've made a response to it and I live miles away from Kent. Basically, Kent County Council staff had a wall of shame. When you sent your children's photos in to apply for a bus pass to your children who may have special needs or disabilities or other other health problems which are long term and can't be obviously need, or need transport support for school and stuff like that, you send them into the council with the photo and details, they send you back a bus pass. Now, the staff at Kent County Council had a wall of shame. If your child happened to look slightly different, your child was featured on that wall of shame. Now, this wall of shame, the children were called retards, mingers, mongs, and possibly more. Now, by the look of the, the situation, this has been going on for quite some time in the transport department. Now, in regards to this, somebody whistle blew on them. Now, before they did this, I have a very funny feeling the same person also complained to the, it was internally to the council to try and stop this situation in November this year. The council didn't, or well not November this year, November last year. Now the council acted in January this year. That wall of shame turned from a wall of shame to a sheet of shame. So that your photos, instead of being on the wall, were on a piece of paper passed around the management team and around the staff in that department. So if your children were on that in any of them photos because there is very children who are disabled and normal children just for looking wrong or having a disability are being slack or being slagged off at will by the council which you pay in your tax to think about that when you um, get your council tax bill if you haven't had it already and think how much they're shafting you up the arse to pay to keep this, this bastard in, in a job now it doesn't say here if he's been paid, paid, he's on paid suspension or not, but all it says is he's on suspension. Now I can only assume he's on paid suspension here, but if he is, what a waste of money. Now, it would be different, my thoughts on this is it would be different if it was just one person put doing this and that was it. But every single person who passed that sh them sheets of paper around, he went to them photos and sneered and took the piss out of the children in the photos. They are just as guilty as the one guy who was suspended. Now, looking at this, one guy shouldn't have been suspended. Every person in that department, including senior management, should have been suspended here. This is a vast fail of a council where they were deciding to cover their asses by voting one and keeping the rest of the sick bastards involved left there. Well, is this the sort of county you really want to be dealing with for your children's uh, future benefit? Or for your children's transportation in the future? Oh no, it's not exactly a choice when you live in the county, but think about that when you send your children's photo in. And if you're concerned about your children's photo potentially being in this thing, you contact the council I will put information down below to do this request where you have to ask for a freedom of information request to request what information or what photos were being taken up on that wall or passed around on that sh them sheets of paper just in case it was your children because I know for a fact right now if that was my children in that in that in them pieces on them pieces of paper or on that wall of shame I'd be going off my fucking rocker and I would be in Ken County Council smashing someone's skull off right now 
Now, right, on that note, I'm going to go, but I want your your opinion on this. Is a council is a council department right for discriminating at this such a level? Is the whistleblower right for blowing the whistle after after an out court contacting the council council directly and saying there's a problem and they didn't fix it? And also to the whistleblower. Thank you for posting the, or sending the information to the cup to the um, the uh, newspaper involved. But at the same time, how long did you know about it? If you knew about it and didn't and it didn't get fixed, went straight away. So be it. And you've had you've been trying to get it fixed and it never happened. Okay, I understand that. But if you've ignored it and then sent it out, you're a fucking idiot. But let's hope we're going to assume you're not. We're going to assume you tried to do it all by the book and you've had no choice but to do it this way. So fair enough to you. Thank you for uh, revealing this situation. Because I'll tell you now, if I ever find out any council mocks my children because they might look funny or have special needs, my fucking word, they will get a good hiding. Right, this is Paul. Tell me what you think. N links will be down below. I've got another story to come from the um, this, this Kent website as well. What is this is Kent.co.uk. So... This, this story is going up now and there will be another one in a minute. See you later.